Hello everybody, welcome to Dude with a Fork. My name is Ken, it is early on Sunday morning. I ran out and did a quick trip to Meijer uh, to grab a few groceries just to get me through the week since I am off work this week. And uh, again, we're looking at inflation, we're looking at shrinkflation, but um, I'm also looking at some good sales. So let's get started. Okay, down here we have a Jose Olay chicken and cheese chimichanga. And again, I want to try this because this, um, I tried the Tina's chimichanga and it was not very chimichanga-ish. It just wasn't very crispy. And this was, let's see, chimichanga, $1.39 for a five ounce, um, a five ounce chimichanga. I've never had these before, so I don't remember what they were before the pandemic. Um, in the middle here, you can see I've got Tina's burritos. And this is the one I usually love, is the red hot beef. Um, I have not been able to replicate the fit flavor of this. This is a four ounce uh, burrito. These pre-pandemic used to be 39 cents. Now, after the pandemic, they're 59 cents. So that's a 50% increase in price. I love these though, and my local Meyer almost never has these. So I stocked up on them. They're great to keep in the freezer when I want just a quick snack. If I've been busy, if I've been running around, if I'm not feeling like cooking, um, and I don't have leftovers in the, in the freezer that I want to eat, I can just pop two of these in the microwave and be done with it. There's, unfortunately, they're pretty high in calories. There's 340 calories according to this nutrition label, um, which is, uh, it's, 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 it's a lot, um, but they're really flavorful. I'm trying to duplicate the, the flavor of that. Um, I bought two others that I've had before, and they're not spicy. But I will give these a try, and I'll, I'll do a, a review video of these. These are the bean and cheese. Uh, and again, I do believe that's a four ounce. And that one is only 260 calories um, because it doesn't have meat in it. And this is beef and bean, and this has 330 calories. Um, I've had both of these before. I'll do a complete review video. These are, these are good. I like these. Um, they're much better than the... Uh, chimichanga was. So these were 59 cents a piece, like I said. Um, and then down here, just a couple of things. Uh, instant Maruchan instant lunch shrimp flavor. Sometimes you feel just like something quick. Um, I'm going to be fairly busy this week because it's the week leading up to Christmas. So sometimes I just want um, something light and small. Uh, this is 290 calories. And what's going to get me, I think, is the sodium content. Yeah, 39 sorry, 1,070 milligrams of sodium. So that's almost half your daily intake right there. Um, and then down here, uh, I'm not a big fan of ramen noodles like I was when I was younger, uh, but they had two, brand, two kinds here that I wanted to taste. One is the picante chicken flavor, and the other is the chili flavor. And I, I, I chili? I, I mean, does it taste like chili, like, you know, with meat and beans, or does it just taste like hot peppers or what? And this one, I wanted to see, it says hot and spicy right there. Well, you know what? I will be the judge of that. So um, all of this stuff I have to get in the freezer or refrigerator with the exception of these guys. So I'm gonna put these away and we'll come back to see the rest of the stuff that I bought. All right, uh, here we are with room temperature stuff. I did do um, a quick Meyer run the other day just cause I need a little bit of produce. Like um, uh, I had a coupon for a free bag of potatoes. I'll always take that and I needed a head of lettuce, and then I forgot other things. So, um, and unfortunately, a lot of these things were not on sale. Uh, starting down here, I bought a two pound bag of organic carrots. Um, if I haven't said this before, I'll say it now, and I'll probably end up saying it again. Um, carrots have a real good ability to absorb chemicals out of the ground. So if you're using our, uh, chemical fertilizers and pesticides and herbicides, they pick up those flavors. And I've never liked carrots as a result. And I found out a long time ago that organic carrots, because they're grown without those chemicals, have a really, really sweet taste. Um, so I thought, well, I'll give those a try. Those are $2.19 for a two pound bag. Um, so that's like a dollar ten a pound. They also had, I found out, bulk carrots, which is what this guy is. And these were a dollar nine a pound. 
And uh, sometimes I have trouble using up an entire two pound bag of carrots. Um, let's see if I can get this open here. Um, so this is a huge, gigantic carrot right here. Um, I mean, that's just, that that's like, that's like lethal weapon carrot right there. Um, that was uh, 0.535 pounds. So this is a half pound of carrot. Um, at $1.09 a pound, it was 58 cents. So I don't know if these, I, I guess, I'm guessing these aren't organic because they weren't labeled as such and, and stores tend to make a big deal. Like that's a huge selling po point. Um, but sometimes you just need a carrot. And so it's, it's nice that they had them in bulk. Unfortunately, a lot of them were broken. Um, and you can see this one's kind of scratched up and banged up. It's not in the best of shape. I kind of had to dig to find that one. Um, but that was $1.09 a pound. That's the same price as these organic carrots. Um, the only difference is that this is much bigger. You can see these are a lot skinnier. So after you peel these, you end up with less carrot proportionately than you would with this. But I figured I would try that and see what the big deal is. Um, so neither of those were on sale. They did have this uh, English cucumber. This was on sale. Uh, this was normally $1.69. And normally I would buy a three pack of these from Sam's Club or uh, and my battery's going dead again. We'll be back in a minute. So this is Sunday morning, uh, December 18th. We have a week until Christmas, and this is what I love about Sunday mornings. There's hardly any traffic about. Um, it's very cold. It's minus four degrees. Uh, what is that? Um, like 25, 26 degrees Fahrenheit? So there's not actually that much snow. It's just cold, but there is a there's a truck over there in that parking lot plowing it out. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's brisk. All right, where did we leave off? Oh yes, I was talking about this cucumber. So um, I love these English cucumbers because they're they're burpless. I, I love regular cucumbers, but um, they they do cause a little bit of stomach uh, distress for me. So I don't normally buy these big long ones like this. This is uh, just over a foot long. Uh, I usually buy the little mini ones that come in a bag. I'll typically buy those at Costco or more often Sam's Club. Sam's Club has them consistently. Uh, Meyer does have them. They take four little tiny ones and they put them on a, on a foam tray, wrap them in plastic and charge like $2.69 or something, a ridiculous price. Um, so I don't buy those at Meyer unless they, they are on sale. Um, but I do think I'm gonna make some overnight pickles. I've been in the mood for that and I have a really good recipe for that. So probably in the next day or two, I am going to uh, do that for you. Uh, the other thing I did, I bought some tomatoes. Uh, I, I'm probably going to have a lot of sandwiches. Hello, this week. And um, I like thinly sliced tomato on sandwiches. And I'm probably going to make some tacos too. And uh, tacos, you know, you, you have to have tomatoes on them. Um, unfortunately, the only tomatoes that were on sale were like the really fancy ones, like the Campari tomatoes, which are amazing. They're, I love those. They, they have really great flavor. And I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes, but those are really good. But the one pound package was $2.49. And the problem with those, the other problem with those is they're all at the same level of ripeness. So you have to eat them really quick um, or, or freeze them. You can actually freeze whole tomatoes. So I may do that later on. Um, I may go back later this week if I eat all these up and buy that and then do that. Um, but anyway, so what I do, when you can pick out individual tomatoes, I've got this one here that's like super ripe. So he's gonna get eaten first, okay? And then I have two that are less ripe. And um, I'm thinking this one's more ripe, and then this one is less ripe. He seems a bit more orangey. So I'm probably going to eat them in this order. Um, but I will, I will put these on a plate and leave them on the counter and uh, start with this guy, and then move to whichever of these two uh, gets ripe quicker, and I'm thinking it's gonna be this guy. So this was a uh, 0.645 pounds uh, at $1.49 a pound that came out to 96 cents. So these are 32 cents a piece. And even though they're not on sale, I can kind of live with that. The nice thing about buying things in bulk is that you can get just what you need. Like I said, sometimes I have trouble using up two pounds of carrots, um, but I will not have trouble using up all three of these things. Uh, other couple of things that I bought here, I, I have not had Jello in years. Uh, and I was in the mood for it. It's the holiday season. And unfortunately, uh, regular Jell-O brand gelatin was $1.39 a box. 
So I'm going with the store brand here. This is the Meyer store brand. It's also the sugar-free because I don't like the sugary one. That causes my stomach some issues too. It's just way too much sugar. Um, I don't eat a lot of sugar. So when I do get something sugary, I, I try to be very, very careful about that. Uh, but this was 59 cents. So a lot of ingredients there. Uh, I don't know what most of them are. I haven't looked yet. Um, it does, alas, contain a bioengineered food product, but I'm thinking most of these are dyes and flavorings. Um, really, the main ingredient is gelatin, uh, which means that this is not vegan friendly because gelatin is actually a meat product. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that, but that's what it is. So um, the other thing I bought was uh, just a loaf of Meyer split top enriched wheat bread. Um, probably I have some sandwiches this week. Sometimes I just want a quick, quick snack for lunch. Um, or breakfast when I'm busy trying to get a lot of things done and this this is this is how I this is how I buy bread okay this is not expensive bread it's not really like super nutritious bread but first of all no high fructose corn syrup which is nice there's only 80 calories a slice how well can you see that and more importantly only 120 milligrams of sodium or 5% of your daily value per slice bread can be a hidden source of sodium in your diet. So uh, if you love bread, and I do, I just don't eat it a lot. It's not super nutritious for you. Uh, do watch the sodium value. And the other thing is that I look at is, does it have fiber? And this indeed, can you see that, has one gram of fiber per slice. So not a huge amount of fiber, but I don't eat a lot of bread, but I do feel like um, some sandwiches this week. I also wanna make uh, some grilled cheese in the air fryer and you need regular bread for this. Um, that was $1.79. That was not on sale. So I, tr I don't often buy bread. I love bread, but it's not, like I said, it's not very nutritious. Sometimes if I go to Sam's Club or Costco, they'll have the deal where you can get two loaves of bread uh, for, I don't know, like $4.59 or $4.29, and you can get some of the more nutritious stuff and then I'll just take one loaf and throw it in the freezer. Um, but that's like Dave's Super Bread or the Innkeeper's Bread. Those are really, really expensive. And those are highly nutritious, more than my budget can uh, deal with on a regular basis. So um, my total spend for this was $26.72. Uh, not a lot was on sale. The, this cucumber was on sale. The cottage cheese was on sale. The orange juice was on sale. That was it, unfortunately. Um, what else? Oh, and I did, I, and this is a terrible habit. I did buy myself, um, uh, I can't see where it is on here, but I did buy myself, yeah, a bottle of Mountain Dew and some Doritos, which is terrible indulgence. But my total, total, uh, bill was $26.72. I saved $3.70. It wasn't a super great shop, but it was a lot of things that I needed. Um, some cheap things that I wanted to try just to see how spicy is that. Um, and like this, how shrimpy is it? Um, and I needed, I needed some things. I needed, I needed a lot of produce. So a um, lot of things for uh, upcoming videos. Hello. And um, yeah, so that's it. 26.72. Not super impressed, but um, that's, I didn't spend thousands of dollars, so I can live with it, I guess. So I, I just wanted to show you this. This was my um, this was my shopping list for the weekend. Uh, I didn't go to Menards or Costco yet. I'll probably do those tomorrow morning on Monday when it's not too busy. Uh, but this was my Meyer list. So I had bread, tomatoes, carrots, and then I wrote carrot. You can see I wrote carrots real sloppy. I think I forgot that I wrote down carrots, and I woke up in the middle of the night, uh, and I thought, oh gosh, I need carrots. So I wrote carrots, and it's it's real sloppy. And I sometimes do that. That's probably one of the reasons I'm not a great sleeper. Um, I'll have thoughts in the middle of the night and I'll get up and write them down and I'll think, oh, those are, that's so profound. Um, I can write a great American novel about that. And then I wake up in the morning and it's just, it's just utter gibberish. So I'm just pleased that I can actually tell that that means carrots and uh, that makes sense, even though I already had carrots written down on the list. So yeah, that's sometimes the way my brain works. Lovely. Thanks for watching.
Uh, I forgot to film this earlier with the big camera, so I'm just doing this real quickly on my phone. So if you see it wobble, that's that's me. Um, I just finished my workout and I was thinking about this. Um, this is this is one of the extras. This is Chex Mix. Yes, and you've seen Chex Mix before. This does not look like the stuff you get in the bag at the store because this is homemade taco flavored Chex Mix. And I made this in my air fryer. So I'm going to show you how to make this regular uh, Chex Mix and then some variations like this taco Chex Mix uh, in a few uh, in a few days. I'll, I'll get to it this week. Like I said, I have time off. So this stuff is utterly amazing and it's super crunchy. Listen to that. Mm, 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 mm. So my secret ingredient is that. And I'm not going to tell you what it is until we get to the video. So until then, think about Party Mix. See you then. And that's it, folks. Thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little haul. Uh, like I said, I've got some things in here I'm going to make, uh, so you'll probably see those later this week or possibly next week, or depending on my editing schedule, um, probably in the early part of January. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, look down below. I've got some links for my mailing list, uh, in which I sometimes talk about things that are going to come up. Uh, I've also got uh, some free stuff on Patreon that you can take a look at and a link to my website where I'm, I need to work on that some more. I need to take some time. And like I said, I've got time off this week, so I will probably do that. In the meantime, stay safe, stay sane, eat some great food, and power to the proletariat. See you next time.